the year was kind of supposed to be a mess, but it's not, at least so far. So how many got so, so much so wrong, and where do we go from here after this blazing hot summer start? Joining us now with some further insight, seasoned investor and founder of Tasty Trade, Tom Sosnoff. Tom, to what do you attribute or ascribe this nice little rally that was tasty rally that we are in? I love when you guys call me up to, to, to spoil the party. I'm the Thanks. fun vacuum, as they say. Tom Sosnoff, um, appreciate it. Good night. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, it's it really has been an amazing rally. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to you, you can attribute this rally to the Nasdaq and you can thank a, a few of the top key players, the little mega monopolies, the, the trillion dollar babies. Um, this is all there. This is they own this one. You know, and we, we, we put out some of the, the macroeconomic things out there about inflation rolling over retail sales strong. Sure. And that's all that's all that's all nice. I would consider that sprinkles. I think the actual cake here, again, you're closer to it than I am. You got the CTAs. They were, you know, sort of waiting for this from a technical basis. You got a lot of hedge funds that were long short. Maybe they were off sides a bit. There's still some pent up money on the sideline. It almost feels like some technicals are kind of kicking in. Yeah, I mean, all, all the above, of course. But I, I think thinking up to it, I wouldn't be worried too much about inflation here. I'd be much more worried. If you want to be nervous about something, I'd be nervous about complacency. You know, Brian, I, I'm an option trader, and and we kind of specialize in option analytics. And for the first time in a long time, you know, price, we look at pricing skew and the perception of risk, velocity of risk. And for the first time in a long time, you know, there's, there's, there's no real put – risk velocity out there right now. The market is pricing it on the call side. And you rarely see that except that when markets get very complacent and near market tops. So that's probably the thing I'd be most concerned about. And of course, also the concentration of this rally. Yeah. You know, well, so it, when, when, you, when you say risk velocity, we got a, probably a lot of non-pros watching last call. What do you sure, mean sure. in layman's terms? What is risk velocity? So what the derivatives markets do is they price the velocity of risk into derivative instruments. So, for example, if the market perceives there's more upside, potentially, the, the speed at which a move can go to the upside, it will price calls more expensive than puts. And if the market perceives the risk to be the downside, it will price puts more expensive than calls. It's just velocity of risk. And so the market always prices puts more expensive than calls. And for the first time in a long time, it's pricing calls way more expensive than puts. And so it just means that there's been a shift in the perception of where risk is. And anytime you see that, it just shows that we're, we're getting a little complacent. We're getting maybe a little bit ahead of ourselves. Yeah. The bond market, I think, used to kind of control the stock market. Now I think the options market really determines. What I want to know where I think the equity market is going, I ask guys like you, I ask some of the smart options guys, because the options market is so big now, it can kind of push around the equity market. What is the options market saying about the near term and maybe medium term. Yeah, well, options don't lie. That's always been the saying on the on the trading floors in Chicago. Futures and options that you know move the S and P's, uh, they never lie. And so you know they've clearly been very strong. It, it, specifically, the last couple of weeks have been incredible, but it has been very one dimensional. You know, the Russell and the Dow have been lagging, and in a, and the Russell specifically in a big way. So this has really been, you know, a one-trick pony, a NASDAQ rally. 